Good morning, and this is Brad on YouTube again with another fragrance review. And uh, I'm going to stay with the Diptyque line again. And this is Diptyque's Velocicos, a two milliliter sample that I've been checking out this week. And um, this is a fragrance that was released back in 1996, and it's considered to be a unisex fragrance and classified as a woody aromatic. Over at base notes, it was given 46 positives, 6 neutrals, and only 6 negatives. So uh, a lot of love in the uh, base note community for this fragrance. Seems like Diptyque has a very uh, strong following for some reason. Um, I'm not sure if I'm blown away by their fragrances, but uh, over base notes, they have a, a special place in in those uh, people's hearts for some reason. So, But uh, we'll get more into that later. Uh, the breakdown of the notes. Uh, top note is uh, fig leaf. Middle note is fig. And in the base, cedar. So, what can we say about Philosicus? Um, you can see I've been wearing a good bit of it. Um, probably wore it about three or four times. Um... Well, as you can see from the note breakdown, uh, Flossicos is a fig fragrance, fig leaf, fig cedar. So you're basically uh, getting a fragrance that's going to represent the smell of a fig tree with the fig fruit and everything. Um, now, a lot of you guys probably don't know much about figs. Um, you've probably had these before, right? Fig Newtons. Uh, well, that's not really what we're talking about here. This is a little bit different than that. Um, basically, you know, it's like a Mediterranean fruit, um, it's a nice smell, uh, but when you first apply this fragrance, you are going to get, um, a green leafy smell, and that'll last about, uh, maybe 20 or 30 minutes, and then slowly the smell of the fig will come into the picture, and it'll sweeten up a little bit, and then that's pretty much what I get from this fragrance. It starts off green and leafy. Uh, gradually progresses to something um, kind of green and leafy in the background, but the fig note starts to come forward a little bit more. Um, so that's about it. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, go through the, uh, the scoring of this fragrance. Um, price, we're looking at about $100 a bottle. So I would say, um, for me, it, uh, the price is about 4 out of 10. Uh, some people might say that $100 is a pretty good deal for a niche fragrance, but I don't think you should classify fragrances on niche and designer. I think you should just look at what you're getting and the price and then just base it on that. I don't care who makes this stuff. I just you know grade it on the price and what I'm getting. So for $100 a bottle, I can't be too enthusiastic. Um, that's still like twice as much as a Chanel or a Dior. So 4 out of 10 for price. Uh, longevity, sage, or projection or whatever. Once again, very disappointing. About a 4 out of 10. Uh, I really have to spray myself pretty good with this one. Maybe 3 or 4 sprays on the neck. A couple shots on the shirt collar. And still, I feel like I'm just wearing like a light body spray. I'm not really impressed with it that way. The smell starts off uh, green and leafy. I give that about a seven, but once the fig note comes into play, maybe about eight and a half. So it does smell pleasant. No, no real problems with the smell. Maybe the beginning isn't uh, real fantastic, but it does kind of sweeten up over time. And at its best, it's pretty nice. Um, so overall score, I'm gonna give this maybe about a five out of ten. And that, that might sound harsh, but uh, I already have Marc Jacobs for men, which is a designer fragrance. You can probably get that one for about $50 a bottle, and as far as I'm concerned, that is, you know, just fine for me as far as a fig fragrance goes. I would say if you're interested in getting a fig fragrance, and I think, uh, you know, it might be good to have a fig fragrance in your collection if you like figs, check out the Marc Jacobs for Men first. I think it's cheaper, and it's a nice fragrance. Um, if you don't like Marc Jacobs, then you have to ask yourself, do you really like figs? If you... If you're convinced that you still like figs and you want to try um, you know, the Philosicos by Diptyque, um, you, know, you can pick a, maybe pick up a sample of that one or give it a try. wouldn't recommend blind buying it because it's just not very strong. But, uh, you know, you might like it if you really like figs and you don't mind a, a light smell. 
You might want to check it out. So that's pretty much my review for Philosophy Codes by Diptyque. Hope that helped you out, and I'll talk to you guys later.